Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Wolves are one of nature's most beautiful and striking animals. People are drawn to wolves for quite a number of reasons, but here's a disclaimer. You do not want to get too close to them. You'd be lucky if you saw one in real life, and if you did, there's probably a whole pack lurking around. Wolves are dangerous, bloodthirsty creatures, so that wouldn't be good news. Now, if you were just absolutely craving the experience of raising a wolf, there are dogs that are distant enough in behavior from wolves that would give you the same experience. This is 100M, and today we're looking at these 10 dogs that really look like wolves. Make sure to watch out for the dog in number two that was so convincing that they had to use it for the Game of Thrones series Dire Wolves. Number 10, Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamute is a large breed of dogs that has a powerful, sturdy body typically built for stamina and strength. It reigns as one of the oldest dog breeds whose original looks have not been significantly altered. It is no doubt that these dogs share a striking resemblance with wolves, and that's because they have not changed much due to breeding. If you have an Alaskan Malamute, you shouldn't be surprised if you find out that your pooch has a high percentage of pure wolf DNA in them. They might be recruited to play the roles of wolves on TV or in movies, but in truth, they're just domestic dogs. The Alaska Malamute has incredible strength, energy, endurance, independence, and intelligence. Number 9. Canadian Eskimo The Canadian Eskimo, also known as a Canadian Husky, is a breed that you will need to look twice at. It is thought that this breed was bred with wolves, giving it its wolf-like appearance. They are a very friendly and playful breed, but very rare these days, so if your pooch is a Canadian Eskimo, give it some extra love because right there is a rare gem. Their struggle for survival is still very much ongoing and dog breeders fear they may soon become wiped out. Their average lifespan is about 12 years, with them reaching 28 inches in height and about 90 pounds when full grown. Canadian Eskimos are very primitive dogs whose relationships with humans date back thousands of years. That might kind of give you an inkling as to why they look so much like wolves. Like all wolf-like dogs, these good boys and girls love to be active. Running, climbing, or just jumping around gets them silly with joy. Number 8. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog well, first of all, its name literally has wolf in it. The end. Let's go home. Just kidding. But these Czechoslovakian wolf dogs share such a striking resemblance that you could actually mistake them for wolves. The breed is a relatively new breed that originated from experiments in the mid-50s conducted in Czechoslovakia. These dogs were created with contributing DNA from gray wolves and German shepherds. Imagine all that greatness in one animal. These wolf dogs have the temperament, pack mentality, and obedience level of German Shepherds. Their appearance, strength, and build were then contributed by their wolf genes. These dogs were initially bred for military use and such, but later graduated to search and rescue purposes and sporting activities. These woofers have great herding, tracking, and hunting skills, and are 100% in the obedience department. Weighing in at around 75 pounds and measuring at a height of 28 inches fully grown, the energetic Czechoslovakian wolf dog definitely has the look and energy of a real wolf. Number 7. Finnish Laphund The Finnish Laphund is an easygoing, medium-sized breed of dogs that were originally bred for herding reindeer. They might look like tiny little puppies, but when you take a close look, you can definitely see the wolf in them. They have a very dense double coat that makes them really fluffy and waterproof. You could even go out on a limb and say they look like adorable howling plush teddy bears. The Finnish Laphund can compete in dog agility trials, carding, mushing obedience, rally obedience, showmanship, fly ball, tracking, and herding events. They also have excellent herding instincts and take well to training. With the right guidance, these fur babies can be the goodest boys or girls you have ever seen. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate how all adult Finnish Laphunds literally look like blown up versions of puppy Laphunds? Number 6. German Shepherds Ah, the German Shepherd. Now this is a common one. The German Shepherd dog is one of the most popular breeds found in America and other parts of the world, and that is for good reason. These woofers are intelligent and absolutely capable of doing just about anything. Their loyalty and courage are unparalleled, and they are incredibly versatile. They excel at almost anything they're trained to do. Guide and assistance work for the handicapped, police and military service, herding, search and rescue, 
drug detection, competitive obedience, and last but not least, faithful companionship. German Shepherds measure at around 26 inches fully grown with a weight of up to 90 pounds. These dogs make terrific family dogs and readily offer their protection when they sense it's needed. This breed has held many jobs in the world of showbiz and has taken the role of national hero. These canines were the search and rescue dogs that crawled the ruins of the World Trade Center after the 9-11 attacks, looking for any survivors and comforting those that were rescued to safety. This breed is often referred to as the ultimate dog trait breed, but still, they can be a handful for anyone who is not pupper savvy. They love to be active, which is typical of all wolf-like dogs, and they can be a bit mouthy too. Number 5. Siberian Husky Now, this is a breed that every true pooch lover loves to admire and gush about. Coming in at number 5, we have the Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies are the most delightful ever. Of course, that's because they are the most popular Huskies around. If you are looking for a dog that would be ready to have a full-on conversation with you, the hilarious howling of a Siberian Husky would be your best bet. They are known for having an attitude and the most amusing personalities. If you own a Husky, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. This beautiful dog is a familiar and lovely breed that is well-suited for homes. This breed originated from Siberia, and they were bred as sled-pulling dogs and are, unsurprisingly, full of energy. If they don't get to expend all that energy, well, you might find out that they put the H in Houdini. Their escaping skills are top-notch and they will run right out of the house and probably the premises to run around and get the stimulation they need. They are definitely like their wolf ancestors with their high level of energy, but with a better temperament. Number 4. Tomoskin. The Tomoskin dog breed is a large working dog and, as such, has an athletic look to it. They share a very striking resemblance to their cousins, the German Shepherd, and are also very similar in size. The Tomaskin has a wolf-like appearance with a thick coat and a straight, bushy tail. It comes in three main colors of red-gray, wolf-gray, and black-gray. Eyes are yellow through amber and brown, although light eyes are very rare. Tomaskins are good family dogs and are known for being gentle with kids and highly tolerant of other dogs or pets in the home. Tomaskins often have high intelligence, which makes them impressively excellent working dogs. The Tomaskin has been known to exceed in agility and obedience, as well as sled racing. Tomaskins originated from Finland and have been mixed with other breeds, including the Siberian Husky, the Alaskan Malamute, and sometimes, but not very often, German Shepherds. Number 3. Kugsha. Kugshas are a dog breed also known as Amerindian Malamutes. The spectacular thing about these dogs is the reason why they share such a striking resemblance with wolves. Kukshas look so much like actual wolves because they really are true wolf hybrids with an enigmatic history. Accounts of where they truly originated have been varied tremendously over the years, so no one really knows where these guys are from. None of these theories appear especially authoritative, so we'll just leave that as a question mark for now. What we do know is that they were bred to pull freights and other heavy weights. However, they are glorious creatures to look at. They're basically like big huskies and are characterized by a large, well-defined muscular body with the looks of a wolf having a massive head with erect, pointy ears, a broad muzzle, and lovely eyes shaped like almonds. They have strong, sturdy legs that are well-built and their tails are long and bushy. The fascinating thing about these mysterious dogs is that they've only recently been domesticated and as such exhibit a ton of wolf behavior. Their wolfiness in terms of their behavior is so potent that they are probably the closest breed you will ever get to raising a wolf than any other breed on this list. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick was sent in by a subscriber. If you come across a photo you'd like to know more about, then make sure to send it in. And who knows, you might just get lucky and get your photo featured. Number 2. Northern Inuit Ah yes, the Northern Inuit, or shall I say, the dire wolves in the north. When HBO's Game of Thrones first came out in 2011, there were three things that caught the attention of viewers. The dragons, the dire wolves, and, well, the interesting disregard for clothing. Sadly, the dire wolves are the only ones we're concerned with today. It would interest you to know that Northern Inuit dogs shared such a striking resemblance with real dire wolves that they were used to portray them in the series. 
the Northern Inuit is a newer breed of dog bred in the United Kingdom to look like a wolf by combining Inuit breeds with German Shepherd, Alaskan Malamutes, and Siberian Huskies. These dogs tend to be very friendly and crave attention, and if left to their own devices, will get bored and find ways to stimulate themselves. As adults, they can weigh heavier than 100 pounds and measure up to 30 inches tall. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, Utenagan. At first glance, the Utenagan's appearances might shock a passerby. Their strong, wolf-like figures might lead one to believe that they originated, or at least were bred, from some type of wolf. However, it is said that there's not a single drop of wolf blood in their veins. Isn't that just shocking? Normally you might think, if it looks like a wolf, howls like a wolf, and walks like a wolf, chances are it's got some wolf DNA mixed up in there. That is absolutely not the case with these guys. The Utenagan is a rare breed of dog that was created by crossing the Siberian Husky, Alaska Malamutes, and German Shepherd. Following its introduction in the UK during the late 1980s, the Utenagan has yet to gain wide recognition due to it being a fairly new breed of dog. So you might not see a Utenagan everywhere with everyone, but they are a pretty great breed for someone looking to raise wolves. An ancient Chinook Indian tale is where the name of the Utenagan originates, which means Spirit of the Wolf. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss more amazing content.